Hello, it's Tusa Lim here. Have you got the sun survey with us? Thank you, Terry. Queen in 1964. Apple Warren, yeah. Young Americans. Each Tuesday morning, Lynn Clifton rings up the same four record shops and gets their top record sales. Lynn averages the figures, and these become the top 20. Each record company sends their new releases to the radio station, and every new record is listened to. The previous week's Hot 100 is looked at, and the records which have stuck there are deleted. 10 to 15 new records are selected and put into the Hot 100, and this becomes the station's playing list for the week. It's 5.03 on the posh Paul Holmes drive show. Who am I talking to, please? Carol, wh where about you calling from, Carol? Listen, in Nainai, listen, that, is, is that a fairly exciting place to live, Nainai? Have you done anything exciting today? Haven't you? Why not? You're sitting down what? Doing ironing. How many shirts do you have to iron? I said, how many shirts do you have to iron? Ah, oh, none today. What, what, what kind of stuff are you ironing mainly? Or don't you want to talk about it? Is it personal? Listen, ah, listen, listen, the reason we're talking on the telephone is because you have just won yourself an LP called Captain Beyond by an outfit called Captain Beyond, you know, like it's the same thing. And, and, and you have to tell me how many degrees we have in Wellington at the moment. Ten degrees will do, Carol. You can pick this record up any time you like. Keep your radio going because I'm going to play a track from it right now. You ready? All right. What's your address, Carol? The Top 20's been around for a few years now, the concept of it. Do you think it's got a future? I don't think it has a future because I don't think it was going anywhere anyway. It was something that was invented, uh, I don't know, by, by American disc jockeys, by American record companies and their branches in New Zealand. Uh, and in Britain, you know, in the 60s, the late 50s, the 60s. It was very much a thing of the 60s. When, when you know, after Buddy Holly, Chuck Berry, when rock and roll was really taking off, and, and suddenly 45s became the main records, you know, 45s were the main records, and, 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 you could, and it, was, it was neat for a disc jockey to be able to say, this is the number one selling record, and you do a big number about it. But it doesn't apply anymore, because it doesn't matter, because people are into albums now. You know, people aren't quite into singles so much. The, the only advantage that we have over having a top 20 is that we can gauge what kind of um, audience ship we have uh, and we can we can get to know what kind of music they want to hear and so we can tell if a certain record climbs up the 20 that we ought to be playing it even if none of us on the station like it but we play it uh, it's it's you know it's simple business practice but most stations in the states uh, you know and, and, and there's no doubt that America leads leads the world in radio England radio is English radio is terrible but America undoubtedly beats the world in radio with their ideas, their music, their formatting. Um, and, and we copy that to a great extent. And I think, I sometimes wonder if 2ZM at the station we're working on here shouldn't, shouldn't also cut out the top 20. Most metropolitan stations throughout New Zealand are doing it now, dropping the whole top 20 concept. I mean, I mean it's ridiculous, really. I mean, so a record is, is number five in Wellington, so what? Doesn't, you know, we have 100 records along here, there's no reason why they should have numbers, apart from our reference point of view. I, yeah, I don't really think. Yes. Programs that do deal in the top 20 don't have um, a big audience rating throughout the country. I'm thinking of a couple of network ones, um, which certain stations are dropping now, which has been going um, for a long time. Um, you know, people just don't listen to the hit parade anymore. People just want to hear music, and they can hear it now because the old days of radio where you came on and did your program summary and talked for five minutes and bored everybody's gone.